making a star. She knows all the great fashion trending in town. When it comes to time, that's not all. She's very wise and intelligent. She knows what she wants, so subscribe. Hello, hello, my lovelies. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Oh, sorry, my voice is still not good, you guys. Crooky, cracky. Manage them like that, my people. How are you? How are you doing? Are you looking forward to this weekend? I am because it's the end of school today. I've been really busy, you guys. I can't begin to tell you. Last week, I dropped a video. I haven't even had the time to go back and check. But today, you know, as we did do now, I really need to speak about this simply because I've done a series of videos about Annie Edibia. When I saw it yesterday, my body, the pepper, me see me kind of drum. But I'm just thinking, no, 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 chill. Ah, ah, fara bale, eh? Jekare bale. So I chilled. I thought, okay, there could be more that would come up. So, and there was, you know, so that's why sometimes it is better to like wait and see, you know, all the sides of the story before you come out with anything. If this is your first time on my channel, you are welcome. My name is Debbie. If you have been watching, but you're still contemplating whether you should subscribe or not, what are you waiting for? Please click the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notify anytime i upload a video and when i start doing my live back so you guys as they go just they use this the old body and to all my subscribers in america uk nigeria i salute to you guys you guys are amazing irrespective i know some ride or die they still watch my video and i appreciate you guys i really love you so much anyway you guys as everyone is saying, no, oh, some people were saying, is it just Annie alone? Before I keep rambling on, let me play the video. I want to really have it. I try to look for the other one. I will try and look for it. I made a video about one of Annie's brother as well, calling her out. And that was a while back. I think it was last year. And that was around the time that her brother-in-law, two-faced brother, was calling her out at the same time. This guy has a lot of enemies around her. Listen to this, then I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. Sorry about that. Hello, Nigerians. My name is Wilson Makoni. I'm elder brother of Annie Makoni Didia. I'm crying out for help now. You guys, uh, sorry I paused it. I just want to say something. When you are watching this, keep an open mind. Look at it as if Annie Idibia is not a celebrity in Nigeria and you don't know her from Adam. Someone is just reporting something to you and at the same time, listen to the background voice because there were some background voices going on in this video. Let's continue to watch, guys. Moment. My life is being threatened. I have been working with my sister for some time, but she will never pay me my dues. She would rather send me 20,000, 30,000, turn me to her slave. And at the end of the day, she can decide when she's angry to end it. Last, some weeks back, her husband sent me some money, gave me some money. I've been begging him for years. The money wasn't in so much, but I used it to settle my home. I have a wife. In most states, I am sorry. They are not come to do the right food. They are not come to pay your daughter's dowry. It's not because I don't want to. It's because I've been manipulated for many, many, many years. Annie introduced me to drugs. Hard drugs. Annie takes drugs. She's a drug addict. She takes it every day. She is so violent. And, what, and it is the same thing. The same way she doesn't have peace with anybody. She calls everybody. She fights everybody. I defended her. I defended her because I love her as a sister. But I now realize that she doesn't even have love or any good intentions for me. I wasn't around for two weeks. I came back because I had my own issues I was trying to sort. I came back, begged my sister that we should continue with the things that you work and everything. She decided to take everything away from me. She took away the job. She wouldn't give me a car. I've been begging my sister for a car to do Uber for many years now so that I can at least on my own provide for my family, provide for my wife and my three children. My sister has never responded to me. I came back to beg her, okay, let me continue with the job, the manager job that she offered me. 
She offered me to be her manager, but then at the end of the day, she turned me to an errand boy. She turned me to a slave. And is evil. Like she will not. She she doesn't want me to be able to stand on my own. Then this afternoon. After she sent me out of the house, I heard that she went on social media to say I beat her. Nigerians, if I beat Annie inside Two Faces' house, will I be able to sleep in Richmond Estate in Legoshi for one night? I was there for five, for six, for six days, begging my sister for an opportunity to work, opportunity to feed my children, opportunity to stand on my own. But she will not give me a chance. Every slight opportunity, she will call my wife and insult my wife. She insults everybody. She is violent. Every night she's on drugs. Every day she's on drugs. Even as she's reading this, even as she's hearing this now, she knows that I'm saying the truth, that she's ordering for crack. She introduced me to it. I was never like this. And sometimes the thing got, got, got into my head. I believe that, okay, as a sister, maybe she had good intentions. If you go back to my previous pictures, this is not how I look. This is not who I am. At the end of the day, she now took away the only opportunity for me to be able to feed my own family from me because she doesn't want me to be able to stand on my own. This morning, I've been begging Annie for the least car in her, in her compound, the least car to you, Uber, that at the end of the day, I'll come and drop it for her, at least be able to provide for my family. My sister refused, and she got me frustrated when she told me that I no longer work with her, she will no longer help me. Just because I did not go for one week, of which I was calling her, the moment she realized that her husband gave me small money, she now she blocked every means of communication with me and set me up to lose the only way that I can feed my children. Nigerians, I am crying. I am begging. I am begging for help. I just want to be able to stand on my own. As I, when I was leaving her house, after she told me to leave this morning, I took the car with the mindset that I will use it for Uber and refund it to, and, and returning it back to her. But she sent her driver with some boys with knives. Nigeria, she sent her driver with knives and got me, her driver, with knife. They were hitting the car, hitting the car. So I was afraid. I didn't know what was happening. I now parked the car somewhere and ran for my dear life. Nigerians, she now called the police to tow the car to Ogombo. Ogombo police station. As I'm speaking to you now, she has sent threats everywhere. My life is at risk. My wife's life is at risk. My family, my children, everybody's at risk. Please, I want Nigerians to know today that if anything happens to me or any member of my family, it is not far from Annie. I need help. Please, I need help. I beg, I beg. I need help. I cannot continue like this. I'm scared. I don't know what she's going to do next. She's on drugs. She's on drugs. She's so violent. Annie is so violent. Annie is so ill-tempered. Annie is so angry with everybody. She fights everybody from her in-laws. Even her own mother cannot stop to her. Even my wife, Doris, she insults my wife at every slight opportunity because she's the one at the end of the day that will say, okay, take 20,000 naira and eat. And I only ask for an opportunity to be able to do something for myself. So you guys, uh, it still goes on for another like 20, maybe two minutes or one minute there about. But I think it's going to make this video too long. And I have, I really have a lot to say. I must, so I want to show you uh, Annie's response because Annie actually responded to this. Normally, I don't think she will respond to something like this. She just posted and she responded with a lengthy note. I'm going to just post the note. You can, you know, pause it, read it. She said a mouthful as well. And her husband as well said something. So before I go on, I want to show you what Annie responded to, to this because Annie responded to it. And I like that she said her own piece so that people don't get distorted with their judgment because it's very easy to judge this lady, especially if about two, three people come out and keep saying that, oh, Nick Bana, she's on drugs, she's this, she's that. So that's Annie's response to the big brother. I will come back on that video, you know, give my thoughts on it. But I just want to, to see the response because I don't want this video to be too long. In fact, I have to hold my tongue from a lot of all these things. So you can just, you know, pause it so that you can read it. Uh, I don't want to read it, but 
Honey was literally just defending herself, saying that the brother is irresponsible and he, she's done a lot for the brother. She's taking care of the brother. She's giving the kids money. She's doing this. She's doing that. And she's still saying that just yesterday she sent money to the kids. You can see everything. And he, he, she literally said that, please, bro, why are you, why this lies? Just because I say you can't be my manager. I have so many voice notes from your wife. So she said she has so many proof that she's been helping the brother with all her bank details and stuff. And after she posted it, because she has deleted it, this is what the husband said. I understand people telling Annie not to respond, but this cuts deep anyhow. And Two Face said again, Dear Wisdom, I hope you are happy with this, your post. I hope you will continue to stand by this, your post. Well, no matter what, it's still nothing but best wishes and prayer for you from Annie and Hi. So this is literally the first time I see Two-Face, you know, come out with escape, shielding his wife. You know, a lot of times people have done so many terrible things to this lady, but the husband doesn't really come out, and which I quite like. So now, after all of that, Two-Face started posting he posted a song frenemies or something like that whereby you know whereby people uh that you think they are your family they are actually enemy so uh two face was posting that and she also posted this on on his instagram story so he posted this respect to family but sometimes some family is your worst enemy so which is true. You some families are your worst enemy. Some some will not come out, but I'm happy that this whatever his name, wisdom, eventually come out. No matter what happened, I don't expect you to come out and be dragging your family like that. And who comes out from the woodwork? You know now, husband's family never carry last when it comes to things like this. He was the he was the one that was shouting that oh, honey is this, honey is that two faced brother. It shows that obviously maybe Two Face didn't allow him back in his life, and he literally said, "No matter how you take package shit, when the time reach, he must to smell." So after all of this is said and done, this guy came back. Sorry, I have to like do this. So this is what he came back to say. Explain something that is actually going on out there. I am not begging Annie to pay me for what I do not work for. I am not begging anybody for money. I just want Annie to pay me for everything I have worked for her. All the years I have put, up, put in in building her own career only based on promises she made to me as a sister. For instance, the whole of last two years now, last year to end of this last year, end of... You know, so, you guys, I'm going to pause this. Space. I'm going to just, you know, summarize all of this thing to you. The first video... This second video, I'll just leave it to be playing in the background. However, I quickly want to say something. In the first video, I don't know if any of you noticed that there was a woman. Maybe she was the one recording it. I suspect is the wife. I'm not saying it's the wife, but it could be the wife because it was a woman's voice. And this woman keep reminding her she's violent. She's this. She's that. If it was the wife that pushed this guy to do this, that is very vile. That is really wrong for you to push your husband to disgrace the only sister that has been helping him in public like this. That is very, very terrible. And I'm going to quickly show you something. This guy has always, you know, write for honey. He writes for honey. If you go on his page, his page is um, Wisdom Macaulay. I don't really need to go there. I thought I want to show you because on his page, if you go there, there was a baby that a Y comedian was carrying. Apparently, this baby is this guy's baby. That's his third child. And Annie has already introduced this baby into like acting world. If she is so bad, I don't think you will be praising her like that. This guy really needs help, number one. I will come back to Annie as well because everybody cannot just be saying one thing about you. I'm going to clarify it, the drug thing and people coming out to say so many ish about her. I just want to say that this guy, if you've been in some family, you know this thing goes on in almost every family, especially husband's family, not your family. Sometimes your family will do this if it's a polygamous home, but not someone from your mother. 
where is their mom i first want to comment yesterday that where is your mom your mom's supposed to sort this out even though you guys are adult by the time their mom cry on their head like what is wrong with you guys why are you destroying me because when i go is this what you guys will be doing maybe they will call themselves to order and this woman telling this guy what to say how to say it and asking for Nigerians help. No, Nigeria will help you when you pull down someone like this because all they see is a lady that has been helping you, your own sister that has been helping you, your blood, your flesh and blood, helping you because she refused to do one now. You said she hasn't helped you. She hasn't done anything. So anyway, I'm going to go to Hani now. Hani two, why can't Hani, number one, Hani made a mistake. You don't employ your family to do a job with you. If you employ your family, be ready for every hazard that come with it. Every issue that come with it, something like this. This guy was saying that Hani never paid him for everything he's done. In this video you are watching, he talks about how he was able to build the Bella, Bella, Bella V's kids or something. You know that Annie's kids brand, that she, he was the brain behind it he designed it and annie never paid him for that he just need his money i will advise annie if truly this guy was the brain behind that brand he should pay she should pay him what he's entitled to he, he, she should you can't employ your family and say because they are family you don't want to pay them because you are paying their kids school fee i get it but even if annie is trying to shield his family knowing that this guy is a druggie because now you are claiming that it's Annie that introduced you to drug but Annie is doing well how can she be this thing that you guys are claiming and she's always in her right mind in her right frame of mind she's doing business she's doing acting she's doing so many things and she's making it I know Annie must have f up at one meeting or the other when maybe she get an uh, ambassadorship or something she would have f it up by being on drug like you claim this guy said she's on drug 24 7 if someone is on drug 24 7 in an interview you would have noticed you would have known so to me i'm not believing it does she take it yes it's very possible very very possible but not to the extent this guy is claiming this guy himself is the one that actually in that first video Oh my God, he looks like someone that really need a fix. He needs a fix immediately. That's the way it sounds. And for the wife to now put him out there, today now he has deleted everything. Two-Face already told him, are you going to stand by this? In On his page, when I went there, you know a lot of people will know them. I saw one comment. I'm not sure if I have the comment. The person was literally saying that, ah, Wizzy, Wizzy, why are you doing this? Annie, you are, you are lucky. I was with you the other day. Now I'm even praying that I should be in your position. That Two Face gave you one million, and you squander it in two weeks. If truly this is the case, I think what Annie is doing in wrong is wrong in the sense that even if you don't want to give this guy money simply because he's a drug addict, you should have create an account for the wife to be putting the money so that the wife can manage everything until this get this guy gets himself right but for you to now not pay him and be paying him in school fee 20 uh, in 50000 20000 i'm not saying that that happened but obviously with Annie's write up and what this guy said it looks like they don't have agreement on salary like i'm going to be working with you and this guy is saying managerial job managerial job and he said he's not the manager i understand as a wife the wife might be feeling why are you doing no more though behind your sister your junior sister for that matter this guy has some sense of entitlement and i think it comes from the wife that's what i would say i think it comes from the wife the wife is pushing him to do all of this anyway you guys i have so much to say but this video is going to be too long and i don't want him what do you guys think you can help me in the comment section let's continue the discussion there and i will see you in the next one hopefully someone can tell annie don't employ family and at the same time if you want to employ family explain how you are going to be paying them and she cannot konisiwala you guys i want to hear what you think you know leave your commentary on my commentary in the comment section i'll see you in the next one and if you have any story to share with me that's my Instagram displaying. You can send me the story and I'll get back to you ASAP. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye.
so subscribe and get that gist with the one and only Debbie Fashta. Yeah, yeah.